this DocuFi video, we'll take a look at the use of barcode separation tools. All right, let's take a look at how the process works. The user would first go to mydocuFi.com. There's no login required. They simply select the uh, Create Index Sheet button, and the cloud service is then available um, to any computer worldwide. Uh, from here you enter your file name or index values that you want to use in the resulting files and it will produce a PDF file with the barcodes representing the data that you entered that you can now receive via email, print out, and then use it as separation data for your documents. So here we can see the screen, and the first thing we want to do is enter our email address for which the uh, resulting separation PDF file will be sent, and a title uh, for the top of the document. And from there you can enter your indexing or separation values as you wish. Up to six values can be uh, entered, and here we're creating some medical record data. So we'll go ahead and create a second sheet. Uh, this second one will be for a uh, Paul Karn. We'll enter a uh, social security number as well as the uh, patient doctor ID in the uh, fourth field. And then we'll show you how we can work with those separation uh, values. So here we have our info email box and two emails were sent to us from the web service. It's a cloud-based uh, tool and in it, it reminds us of the information we entered and attaches a PDF file that contains barcode uh, signatures or representation of the text that we entered. And this is a highly accurate way of, of separating documents as well as using it for file naming and indexing purposes. So here is the resulting PDF file that we can simply print out and um, put in front of the uh, medical record data that we want to bring to the scanner. There are many ways to use barcodes and we'll take a look at some of these in this application. First is file naming. We can use the uh, index data to automate the name of the resulting TIFF or PDF files. It can also be used to split documents, whether it's patient records, bill of ladings, or uh, financial records. Barcodes can be used to indicate that a new document is beginning. It is also very valuable in the automation of indexing information into various backend databases. And finally, you can determine where to route your documents to and automatically create subfolders based on barcode values found in the documents. So now we're going to use the uh, DocuFi batch tool and process the resulting scanned file, which has two medical records. Uh, and here we can see that folders were automatically created off of one of the barcode values, and the files were secured with a digital password. And uh, let's go back and take a look at the document. And we also will show you how that was set up. Let's go back and take a look at the second folder, which was Mr. Carnes. Uh, the Social Security number is uh, the resulting file name. And again, it is password encrypted. And we can take a look at our document to verify that the data was properly separated to, into two documents and stored within a particular folder. So now let's take a look at the settings that were used to accommodate our requirements. Again, we're using DocuFi Batch, which is a folder processing tool. And we have told it to rename the files, uh, sticking the fifth barcode value, and to create a subfolder of the fourth barcode value, which happens to be the last name. We told it to split it barcodes and to remove the separation page. As far as our PDF uh, digital rights, we've disallowed printing and cut, copy, paste, and told it to uh, store a password with the documents.